Hello friends, today let's solve the number of submetrics that sum to target. Give a matrix and a target. Return the number of non-empty submetrics that sum to target. So the meaning of this question is very simple. You may recall that we have solved a problem that asks us to find the subarray in a 1D uh, matrix uh, that uh, sum to target. How do we solve that, uh, solve that question? Like, uh, like 2, 1, negative 4, 6, and we need to find the subarray and uh, its sum equal to the target. We use a prefix sum array, which is just one length greater than the given, ma uh, given array. And we also use a hash map. Why? Because we need to count the number of the subarray. So we need to, it's kind of like a uh, sum and its frequency. So that's the usage of this map. Mm, so now this question is just change to 2D, how to solve this question. Actually, we can use the same idea of this 1D array. We also need to use map to count the sum and its frequency. And we also need uh, the prefix sum array. But in this 2D situation, we need to use a, a 2D prefix sum. So basically, we have uh, two alternatives. One is we, ca uh, we cache the prefix sum in each, each row, like we use um, 2D array, and uh, for every row, we cache its prefix sum in the same row. That will be 0, 1, 1. And uh, in the row 1, there will be 1, 2, 3. In the row 2, will be 0, 1, 1. Also, or we can cache the prefix sum in each column. So that will be 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 1. Uh, in my opinion, I think uh, either of these alternative alternative can work. Uh, in my solution, I cache the sum in each column. So okay, uh, there will be in this uh, in this column we get the sum from the row 0 to the row 2. And you still remember that in the 1D array, we let the prefix sum array 1 greater than the numbers array. Because then we can get this whole array by use the prefix sum n minus prefix sum 0 to get the sum of the whole array. So in the same so the same idea in the 2D prefix sum for every we, we let the rows greater than the given matrix so there will be one row greater this is the given matrix and it, it has three rows and in the prefix sum we have four rows so for the row 0 they will be 0 and uh, for the row 1, there will be the number in the row 0 in the matrix. And uh, the row 2 will uh, sum up the previous uh, accumulate sum. So we get this prefix sum. OK, then how to get the, all the submetrix in this matrix? I mean, this is the given matrix. How do we try each possible submetrix? You will see, this is a possible submetrix. This is also a possible submetrix, and this is also a sub possible matrix. A possible submetrix. So how to try every possibilities? Actually, you will see that how to define a submetrix in a matrix. We need is like a bottom up left and right. So we, we should definitely 
to fix one side. So in my solution, I will first fix the. Let me fix the up. Which means if uh, at first uh, the row start will be zero, and then we try to get all the possible submetrics, uh, uh, like uh, you know, zero. Then zero one and zero one zero. This is these three possible submetrics, and also the one zero and the zero. Um, actually, ah no, actually, for the zero, when we set the up to the two, we can get these submetrics. So for when we set the up to the zero, we can only try all the submetrics start from this up. That will be zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero. This is three possible submetrics. And uh, zero, one. And this is another possible submetrics. This is another possible. And uh, this one, this one, and this one. So then we will try to fix this. This possible. Oh, uh, we we will try to let the up equal to this line. So th then the possible submetrics will be one, one, two, one, two, and uh, this this matrix and uh, this and uh, this or this. So how to get the submetrics of these four? I mean these four numbers. We we know that the up will be here. The upper line will be here, and then we use uh, the sum of these six numbers to minus these two numbers. So that uh, will just use the idea in the one D matrix. We'll check whether the offset exists in the map. So that's the reason we will accumulate this sum and also use a map. So okay, let's write the code. Maybe I will write and explain to you. First, uh, in every pr problem, we will use the H case check zero or matrix zero dot length equal to zero. We will return zero. Then we will get the rows. That will be matrix dot length columns equal to matrix zero dot length. And that I said uh, we need a prefix sum. Prefix sum. There will be the we use one rows greater than the matrix. So rows plus one in these columns. Then we will fill this prefix sum. We will because we need to accumulate the sum in each column. So we let let the column start from zero, con less than the columns j plus plus. And for every row zero, I, le I less than rows I plus plus. So prefix sum um, there will be I plus one equal to prefix sum I plus. Uh, um, no, this is I J plus this matrix I J. Okay, so now we get the prefix sum. Then we will use a map integer integer. New hash map. Also, we need a result to accumulate all the numbers. Then, as I said, we need to set the. That will be row start to fix the upside. So, that will be row start less than rows. Row start increment by one. Then, We'll get the int row. We'll start with the row start. And the row will less than rows. Row increment by one. And for every, that's kind of like the end of the, li like the bottom line of the matrix. So every possible this matrix, we will let the map uh, Clear, right? Because uh, we need to, for every possible bottom line, 
we will to save their prefix sum in the new map. And int sum will equal to 0. So for every column equal to 0, column less than column, so column increment by 1, we will let uh, we will accumulate their sum. There will be the prefix sum row, right? So there will be row plus 1. You know that this is the index in the matrix, not in the prefix sum. Column minus prefix sum. There will be row start. This is the upside, this is the downside. Uh, so there will be column. So if this sum equal to the target, that means we find one metric. So result we increment by one. And uh, then we, we can know the offset will be the sum minus target. It's the same in the 1D situation. We will try to find if we can minus some uh, array to get uh, the subarray in the middle. So if map contains key, there will be offset. Then the result will just get the map. Uh, there will be offset. OK. Finally, we need to save this sum in the map. So if map contains key sum, which the lattice frequency uh, increment by one. So we'll put the sum and the we map get this sum plus one. Else, we just uh, put the sum one. OK. So uh, out this loop, we just return this result. So OK. Mm. Ah, this should be J. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.